Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro. First of all, we need to remove the cartridge. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the tray for SIM cards and memory cards. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Next, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, first we use a thin metal tool because we have the back cover slightly recessed into the middle cover. So we use the metal tool to create a small gap into which we push the thin plastic film and after that we work with the thin plastic film. We carefully go along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We always need to be careful in the area of the cameras so as not to damage the lenses. Also, we should pay attention to the fact that the back cover is additionally glued in the area of the cameras. And we carefully pass along the edge, detach the cover, additionally pass in place with the camera location. And we can open the back cover, we have nothing on the back cover. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top. For this, we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips HTO. It looks like all the screws are the same, but nevertheless, we recommend that they are placed on a special surface in a specific order so that nothing gets mixed up just in case. Next, we need to detach the cover at the top. For this we use tweezers with the ceramic tips so that we don't short out anything on the motherboard. As always we need to find the right place where we can gently pry, lift and detach the cover. We carefully lift the cover, see that nothing is in our way and remove it. After that also, with a non-metal tool, we disconnect the two battery connectors. Then we proceed to unscrew the screws in the bottom part. For this, we also use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips HTO. We carefully unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface. After that, we can move on to detaching the cover with a speaker, the cover that hides the subboard. We also carefully pry up the edge, lift and remove the cover with a speaker. We put the cover aside and proceed to disconnecting the connectors. We disconnect the connector for the fingerprint sensor, disconnect the connector for the coaxial cable, Disconnect the connector for the interboard cable. And we can try to detach the subboard. We need to find the right place where we can hook lip and remove the subboard. We find the right spot, gently try to lift and remove the subboard. By the way, the subboard is slightly recessed. So we have removed the subboard, on the subboard we have the microphone, charging port and other elements on the back side. In our traditionally quick test of the microphone hole, we take the tool, try to insert it into the microphone hole, but we are hindered by the gasket which is located in the microphone hole. Also, please note that the microphone body itself is located on the subboard on the opposite side of the microphone hole. Accordingly, 
even if we can insert something into the microphone hole, we would not be able to damage the microphone in this way. Well, we move on to detaching the cameras. Carefully hold the cameras so that they don't accidentally fall out and we don't damage anything. We detach the large rear camera. Please note that the large rear camera may be glued by the base to the display frame. We can also detach the two front cameras. We carefully detach them and put them aside. After that, we can disconnect the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector, disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the display cable connector, and we can detach the motherboard. We gently pry up the edge, lift it up and turn it over. On the back side we can see we have the thermal test. And on the motherboard we have a headset jack port, a second microphone and a card connector on the back side. And in the display frame we have the RP speaker at the top. Well, we finally move on to detaching the battery. As we can see, the battery has been removed at least once before us. Nevertheless, we need to unfold the brown tabs with the letters A and B, read the description which shows the sequence of actions we have to perform when removing the battery. So we need to pull the white tab with the letter A up and the tab with the letter B should be turned as much as possible so that it doesn't interfere with us. And we detach the battery. Under the battery we have a transparent coating which protects the cables. So that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and we'll see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.